Hello everyone! I'm back at my unboxing spot to unbox this vintage Chanel jacket that I recently bought online. It's from the two, no, not two, 1996 spring summer collection. Oh, sorry, it's too bright. I'll show you a picture on the screen. So I'm now checking the buttons. CC logo buttons, black and silver. Double breasted, so six of them. And the pockets are opened, so I may have them sewn back because I think this looks better than this. And here's the style the color code 94305 that's black and the size is 38 so i flip this tag over i should see a row of um, numbers and letters so 04120e and if i go to the left hand side i should see the wash tag and i should C 4120E right here so they should match and this one has an extra Japanese wash tag so that means this uh, jacket was originally purchased in Japan black CC logo lining and the buttons on the sleeves are all intact and let's try it on mm. fits well as a jacket but then the reason i'm so excited about this jacket is that it is actually a dress um, I was doing some research before I bought this um, item. I look up the archive and I found the same jacket worn as a dress by Linda Evangelista in the fashion show. So I was really excited. And so now I'm going to take this um, t-shirt off and show you how it looks as a dress. So this is how the jacket looks worn as a dress. I may bring this to Chanel to have the shoulder pads replaced because I, I feel bumps here and there so I think I need to have them replaced and maybe add a snap closure snap fastener right here because it is a little low otherwise I like the length of the sleeves and the overall length of the dress Because this material is not so thick, I can easily wear this in Hong Kong. Uh, not now, but uh, fall and winter. So they are going to 
put two snap fasteners here and replace the shoulder pads and close these pockets. And this is the dress that I want to show you in this unboxing video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. In the meantime, take care, stay safe, and bye-bye.